Good morning, good morning. How are you today? <clears throat> it's Robin John Rosenhouse, and I'm so happy to be here with you as always. So, I realized I titled this wrong because I actually remembered that we're doing the weekend energy report. <laughs> That's what I pulled the cards for, um, and I typed daily. So, I'm going to have to change the title. Anyway, here we are <laughs> on Friday, December 3rd, and we are talking about the energy for December 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So, what do you need to know? <coughs> Here's the deal. This is a weekend of, like, wide openness. There are opportunities for you this weekend, um, not only like in terms of making money and business and things like that, like there are going to be opportunities for fun for some of you guys, right? And here's the thing. Here's the, the issue with the opportunities. Number one, you have to be open to them. Like, okay, universe, okay, brain, show me all the really cool opportunities I have available for me, to me, this weekend, right? And then listen. And <laughs> the problem with listening is what happens first? The subconscious wakes up first and says, oh, no, no, no. There are a gazillion reasons why you cannot have fun this weekend. There are a gazillion reasons why you don't have any opportunities available to you. There are a gazillion reasons why you need to keep things exactly as they are. Don't try to change anything. It's the weekend. We always do A, B, and C, and that's what we're going to do. You need to ignore them. Or even better than ignoring them, because what happens is when you try to ignore those, those negative voices, what happens is you, you accidentally, <laughs> unconsciously end up focusing on them because you're like, where are they? Where are those negative voices? Because I got to get it the minute it shows up, right? So instead, respond to it, okay? So when you have that really great idea to go to the zoo and, you know, the, the negative voice starts saying, it's going to be freaking cold this weekend, the zoo is expensive, blah, 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 you can turn around and say, yes, it is going to be cold this weekend. And I have a really, really warm jacket. And I can put leggings on underneath my jeans. And I can dress appropriately for the weather and still enjoy the zoo. Right? Like, but this is going, this will be something fun. And the it's probably, you know, dressed up for Christmas, the zoo, and it's probably going to be less crowded, right? Because the weather is not, you know, zoo weather. And I know I'm, I'm just, maybe I'm thinking zoo because <laughs> I'm wearing, you know, leopard. These are the earrings I was talking about yesterday. So <laughs> anyway, maybe that's why I'm talking about zoo. Who knows? But it's just like a, you know, a simple... It's an example of how even the simplest things, like how the subconscious mind will hop in and say, nope, 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 that's not, nope, we can't do that. So be aware of that, right? Like I said, and instead of, instead of like actively trying to ignore it, which can result in, you know, um, paying attention to it instead and focusing on it because you're, 
you're waiting for it so you can knock it down let it let it come let it pose its argument okay the thing is you get to say mm, no I hear you thank you for your concern and no we are going to do this I've got this we know what we need to do to make it a comfortable experience, to make it a fun experience, to make it an enjoyable experience, to make it a successful um, opportunity, what, you know, whatever it is. We got that. We're good. We're good. Thank you. Like, literally, that's it. All you got to do. So, I can't wait to hear about what opportunities present themselves to you and and show up for you this weekend i'm looking forward to hearing and seeing what mine are gonna be i know i have some calls today and that's gonna be fun those opportunities are already here what else is gonna show up right so two things number one go book your reading for 2022 Grab your energy outlook for 2022 for those first three months. Get something accurate. Get something that is uh, going to give you information that is going to help you to create the year that you want. Right? We're not going to go too far out into the energy because the energy just keeps shifting and changing way too much, way too fast. So we're just looking at the first three months for now right that's all you need to get a head start on next year so there's that that's at my website robinjrosenhouse.com click on work with me and it's the first choice in the menu three month energy outlook go get that now and the other uh, the other opportunity i have for you is my new free facebook group called the manifestation lab so head over there also after you get your reading because what that will do is once you get your reading and you set your goals and you decide what you're manifesting you will have an opportunity in there to increase and to hone in on your manifesting skills I do manifesting from a little different standpoint than most everybody else. You don't need to clear your beliefs. You can if you want, but you don't need to. Doesn't matter if you feel worthy or not. You can still manifest, right? And those voices in the head and the subconscious and all that kind of stuff, I teach you how to get past it so that you can get what you want right because what do i do i help unwavering ambitious women get what they want at a rapid fire pace we align your energy in order to do that there are specific tools specific techniques that i teach you to get your emotions under control so that you can <clears throat> make the most out of your neurology and make the most out of your energy have your energy be um, emitting a calm clear coherent message to the universe so that the energetic matches so that the things that you actually desire show up in your awareness that's it so that's the manifestation lab all right guys have a great weekend. I will be back here with you on Sunday, right, with um, business this week. All right. Bye-bye. So Robin John Rosenhouse. Remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results.